Hey, what's up everyone? So in the latest A5X2 news today, I was kind of winding down for the night yesterday. I popped on Reddit and I find the post by then Guy Entz on Reddit. You guys don't miss a beat on Reddit. This was literally filed yesterday and he found it like immediately. I kind of took an hour yesterday to dig through all the stuff and find the important things that I think are relevant and I kind of want to share that with you because the site is not the easiest to navigate. So maybe this will be simpler in terms of viewing it. So last week in a video, I posted some more details that I thought about the A5X2 and I made a little chart that I, I built. I mentioned in that that there was a little bit of leniency because I was scaling off of a small image and it looks like in the width, I was off by about two millimeters. So you can see the red line here, the black is the new one. So it's a little smaller than the diagram I had built, which is a good thing. And in the other direction, I think it was like a millimeter and a half difference. So I rescaled it here. And here is the Remarkable 2. You can see it is wider, but shorter, but just a little bit shorter. Here is a Remarkable Paper Pro for reference. The screen is almost the size of the actual device here. And then here is a Viewoods. So a little smaller in every direction. And we're looking at the inner black one here. And then the Nomad here you can see is a lot smaller, obviously. But anyways, let's get into the meat of it. Thank you to this Reddit user for posting this. First thing I wanted to talk about so one thing I noticed on the label on the A5X2 here is it's five volts, two amps, which is actually the same as the Nomad that I looked up here. I was hoping this would be a little bit faster of a charging speed, but it looks like it's the same. And then this was cool. We got the whole quick start guide already. Supernote had mentioned in a Reddit comment that it was going to be Carta 1300, but there was no news about that after. So people were kind of speculating that maybe it wasn't going to be, but we do have confirmation here that it will be. And kind of like I thought they were rounding up the 10.7 inch from the 10.65, which is the same as this Viewoods AI paper. It's using the same exact panel basically, which is good news. I did a video about Carta 1300 on this if you wanna check that out. And for the weight, this is really good news. This is 370 grams, which for a tablet of this size and being modular is very light. That is exactly the same as this Viewoods AI paper here which is, let me take the pen off. It feels really good in the hand and that's awesome to hear. Now, one thing interesting about the weight, if you go down to the Chinese part, they say 375.5. So I'm not sure, maybe that's like with the actual folio. Not 100% sure. If you know why that might be different, leave a, leave a comment below. Now, looking at the actual dimensions, like I mentioned, it's this size right here. But one thing I noticed, so when I put out this video two weeks ago about the announcement, you can see here it's 5.9 millimeters listed and 3.5 in terms of the thinnest part on the edges. And if you look at their site now, they actually changed it to six and 3.6. So 0.1 higher, not that much different, but I just thought that was, that was interesting that it changed since the announcement. On the Japanese one, they also list 370 grams, so I'm not sure. Let's go back to the English guide. You'll see they list 6.4 here. So this I'm kind of like confused about now. I'm wondering if that's with the folio, because adding that much distance for a folio seems reasonable. It's weird because in the photos, you don't see the folio at all in the FCC filing, so I'm not sure about that. Looking at the internal photos here, it's definitely cool that you know they take apart the SOC here and it is pretty much the same as the Nomad. But it's nice, the back looks like it's gonna be like the white version of the Nomad, where it's uh, easy to remove and you just kind of pop it off. So much easier to access than the crystal version here that we have. Also, we'll see that the battery is now at 3,600 milliamp hours. The Nomad was 2.7K. So if you calculate here, it's 33.3% larger and this was something I was interested in. So we look at the guide here, you know, we have the, the resolution, we have the pixel count, so we can calculate that there's 4.9 million pixels on the A5X2 and 2.6 million on the Nomad here. So I kind of wanted to calculate what percent increase that is and it's about 87%. So what's interesting is like 
The battery is larger, but you do have significantly more pixels to push. But I was thinking about this and these devices, you're not refreshing the pixels all the time. So it doesn't scale like a laptop or a monitor where the more pixels you have, the more battery you're gonna consume every minute pretty much, right? Because it's using those constantly and refreshing those at 60 you know, hertz or 120 hertz, 144 hertz, for example. I think the big battery increase will actually lend to having a better battery, even though it's pushing more pixels. Let me know what you think about that because that's just kind of conjecture on my part. Let's look at the external photos. The screwdriver looks a little bit different than the one that came with the Nomad here, but the cable looks the same. And one thing I noticed about the folio loop, I think it's on the internal. It's interesting. I thought it was just going to be part of the plastic like here, but it looks like you can just easily swap out the material. So this is going to obviously open the floodgates for like a bunch of different pen loops, people on Etsy making different ones and all that. Here is um, something I wanted to point out. So in my last video, I mentioned that the screen, the screen looks a little bit grayer than the Nomad here if you can see, and it matches the actual panel a little better. Not 100% like the Remarkable Paper Pro or the V-Woods or the Remarkable here, but it does look like it matches more than the Nomad here, which is a pure white. And I had a viewer that reached out to me and said that her Nomad was much more gray than mine. So I asked her to DM me and send me some photos and uh, maybe I'll put them up on the screen. But it looks like after I don't know if it was maybe after a certain date, the Nomad, they did change the pure white into a more gray, which is kind of like this. So I, I just thought that was kind of interesting. I spent about an hour looking through this, but I can't look through every page of the whole FCC filing. So if someone found the pen to paper distance, or if that's something that's even listed here, I'd be interested to know that. If you wanna see a live stream I did with the E-Team where we talk about the A5X2 more, you can see that here. Or if you wanna see some other thoughts I have, you can see that over here as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.